Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this trigonometric problem, secant theta plus tangent theta times 1 minus sine theta divided by cosine theta. And now we are going to multiply and simplify these identities. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's look at the left hand side of this equation. And here I have copied it down as you can see. And now let's focus on this secant theta and from this given trigonometric table we can see that secant theta is same as 1 over cosine theta and likewise tangent theta could be written as sine theta divided by cosine theta. So therefore secant, I could write secant theta as 1 over cosine of theta plus tangent could be written as sine theta divided by cosine theta and I'm going to leave this part as same 1 minus sine theta divided by cosine of theta. And now we can see in the denominators we have the same denominator cosine of theta. So therefore we can just simply write cosine of theta as the common denominator and on the top on the numerator I'm going to write down 1 plus sine theta and then times 1 minus sine theta divided by cosine of theta. And here in this next step I have put these numerators together as you can see and likewise denominators together as well. And now we can see that this represents on the top the product of sum and the difference so therefore we are going to use this formula. So this numerator is going to become simply 1 square minus sine square theta and divided by this cosine theta times cosine theta is same as cosine square theta. And here 1 square is same as 1. Now let's recall this famous trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to 1 over here. So let me go ahead and manipulate this identity by just moving this sine square theta on the other side. If we move this sine square theta on the other side becomes cosine square theta equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So our 1 minus sine square theta turns out to be cosine square theta. So therefore I am going to replace this 1 minus sine square theta by this cosine square theta. So therefore our numerator is going to become simply cosine square theta and divided by cosine square theta as well. Now we can see cosine square theta divided by cosine square theta is simply equals to 1. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be 1. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.